to Scotland via the now closed Waverley route, which ran between Carlisle and Edinburgh. The locomotive at the head of the train was Class A2 Pacific, number 60528, Tudor Minstrel. Kelly single number 123 at Muirkirk. board the train from Air to Troon. Engine number 103. Which is where we see it now. No, we're not back on the Isle of Wight. Photographer Neville Sims was just having a brief bovine moment. Our journey continues with a trip down the branch to Fakaba's town from Orbliston. between the stations of Alton and Malvern. number 103 came off the train and former Great North of Scotland Railway 440 number 49 Gordon Highlander took over. 
Unlike our previous two engines, which were withdrawn in the 1930s, number 49 ran in BR days, carrying the number 62277. At Inverramsey, the engine ran round its train to traverse the Macduff line. which unfortunately by this time ended at Turriff, or Turra as the locals call it. On the same branch we see the train at Rothy Norman. This is a different branch. Here we see the special train at the terminus of the old Meldrum line. And Neville filmed class 20 number D8028 on the Burvey branch north of Montrose. tour continued behind a pair of Ivert Class 2 260s and we see Usen signal box which is still extant and in use in 1999. This is the Carmilly branch near Arbroath. And the Ivert Class 2s at the end of the line. Here we see them back at Elliott Junction on the main line. From where class J39 number 64786 took over and took the train south over Dundee's famous Tay Bridge. Lindors was situated on the former North British line which linked Dundee with Perth on the south side of the River Tay. we pick up two more different locomotives, Cali 440 number 54465 and Cali tank engine number 56347. Here we see 56347 taking the train onto the Bankford branch. Here it is at Bankfoot itself. 54465 taking the train to Forfar. And Cooper Angus.
British running round its train at Blair Gowrie. And finally, back at Cooper Angus. It was diesel haulage on the Allyth branch. This class 26 would eventually carry the number 26039. past these signals at Allyth Junction and also the signal box, after which it took the train back to Perth, which is where we see our fourth preserved Scottish locomotive, former North British Class D34 locomotive, number 256, Glen Douglas. Glen Douglas took the special train northwest out of Perth to visit the short branch line to Methburn, long since closed, like most of the locations featured on this nostalgic Scottish trip. of Scotland. This is Paul Kemet Colliery, which survived well into the 1980s and retained its shunting engines long after steam had disappeared off the main line. again to Perth. This is V2 class locomotive number 60955 on the down postal. And this shot was taken at Hill End Reservoir near Bathgate. Glen Douglas again. standard class 5 just south of Dunblane.
rail bus arriving at Stirling from Alloa. The B1 was filmed at Bonnie Bridge. And on another rail tour, Glenn Douglas prepares to take a train down to the Bonnie Bridge Basin. shots of trains on the main line were taken. Engine number 256 was having difficulties getting the train back up from the basin, so a Stania Black 5 was dispatched to give assistance. The D-34 is now seen back at Bonnie Bridge. sister locomotive number 45443 at Greenhill Junction. And another is seen at Comrie. A combination of track condition and lack of decent suspension on Black 5 number 44961 resulted in these rather bumpy shots taken from the footplate between Comrie and Creef. Glen Eagle Station has changed little over the years since this northbound B1 was filmed. and a black five with a snowplow. It could only be Scotland. Some trains filmed just south of Dunblane station, the first two northbound. southbound express. Some of the A4s saw out their days on these Aberdeen to Glasgow workings. And some more trains at this steamy location. Note the variety of locomotive types even in this mid-1960s period.
black five arrives at Dunblane station with a train from the south. Cameraman Neville Sims just couldn't resist a shot of this ancient gas lamp. travel behind A4 number 60027 to the northeast of Scotland. we see some workings near Stonehaven, the first two locomotives being former LNER class V2s. introduction. Enjoy the last days of steam in Aberdeenshire, albeit through the lens of a camera. 